welcome to the MBS Review and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. What fresh spore of madness is this? Oh, it's one of those episodes, my friend. Uh, if you listened to last week's episode, you know what it is already. And also joining us today is Sapphire Heart Song. I am not saying it. Say what? I am not saying it. It what? Are you talking about You it? know what I mean. It starts with a K. <laughs> and it ends with an U. Oh, wow. <laughs> So anyway, in this episode of this Review and Description Podcast, we are going to be <laughs> uh, Season 2 episode, well, um, I'm guessing here is episode, what should we call this, 13? Uh, the wiki isn't really giving me much info, so yeah, I'm going to stick with that. So anyway, uh, yes, episode 13. Uh, what was I? I'm so confused. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to take it back from the top. So anyway, yeah, uh, this week we're going to review the Marikas Lady Bug, Tales of Lady Bug and Cat Noir, uh, episode title, Zombie Zoo. Zombie Zoo, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> In this episode, sweet Miss uh, Bustier gets akumatized into Zombie Zoo. Armed with an evil black lipstick, she wants to spread love in the city by force. Yes. Ha 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 ha. So before we get into the review, um, first impressions are in order. So Silver, what do you think of said episode? I mean, anyway, we, this is like what the fourth miraculous we've now watched. I think not so. really can't in, including the Christmas special, which I just like. I can't. I don't even know what to do anymore. I am lost and confused in a sea of madness. Mm. Here's the funny thing. Mm-hmm. Almost all the elements I've seen in this episode I've witnessed in other forms, including the kissing zombification. Really? Oh, yeah, that happened. Oh, yeah. So it's not like there's anything, one wrong thing that's just spoiling it. It's more just, I guess, I'm not as invested in this show as others. So when the when the cast is suddenly dropping one by one, I'm like, okay, that person's gone. That person's gone. They're not going to get rid of her until the very end. Rats. Same. So I'm just like, ah, you know, it's funny. You can mix all the right ingredients, but it doesn't necessarily mean the perfect uh, soup will come forth. Or should I say like a eclair or something fancy? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, maybe, uh, I should, maybe it should be like that demonic ice cream guy. I, I take all of the best pieces and I put together in this frozen confectionery. I own your soul now. <laughs> oh, God. But uh, you mentioned the kissing zombie thing. Where was that before? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, the oh, TV wow, series. The series. Attack yeah. of the Killer Tomatoes, the TV series. They had an episode where uh, one of the evil tomatoes became a vampire, but the U.S. Cen- the U.S. censor representative said, "No, no, no biting in a kids' show." So what am I supposed to do? Kiss the neck? <laughs> yes, kissing is nice. <laughs> Obviously, this was the '90s when you know you could actually say so- that. Self-referential humor. I want to kiss your neck? Okay. <laughs> and yeah, so the yeah. villains were going around uh, kissing people on the neck, and they all turned into vampires. So, same thing here. Kissing zombies. Okay. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Uh, Happy. what about you? I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Oh, come oh, on. Wow. Kiss you, kiss you. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I'm with Silver on this. I am not invested in the show. I'm sorry for those who actually really like Miraculous Ladybug. Surprisingly, there's a lot of your followers on the Twitter who say they enjoy it or quote-unquote enjoy it. Well, yeah, and you know, it's okay if you enjoy this. I'm I'm just not really into it as much. (laughs) Okay. I don't know what it is about Miraculous Ladybug. Maybe it's the CGI. Maybe it's, like, I just don't care. Maybe it's my weird first impressions upon, like, watching this show. Maybe Hmm. I'm just more into anime. I don't know. (laughs) Uh, Either way, I just can't really get invested in the show. And like Silver said, like, when they were all getting picked off one by one by the zombie apocalypse. The Kisu apocalypse. (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) Anyways... I, it's like, okay, you're dead, you're dead, your sacrifice was somewhat noble, I guess, you're dead. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not dead, but you know what I mean. 
Yeah. Honestly, the one thing that only had me screaming is just how terrible this Chloe character is. Like, yeah, I get it. She's supposed to be the typical spoiled brat in an animated kid show who's nothing but a B word. Mm-hmm. And just. But the lengths she goes just to say, hey, I'm better than you, spoil me, is just. Uh, I've met classier spoiled brats than this one, is how I uh, how I see it. Anyways, <laughs> oh, that's my yeah, thought. Okay. Yeah, um, well, as for me, I I don't know. I'm kind of invested in this show. I follow it if it's out. You know, I always try and catch the new episode when it's out and whatnot. But for this episode, I kind of like it when I first watch it. It's like, oh my god. They're doing something cool. It's like zombie, but much more PG because they're kissing and whatnot. And the first time watch, I was really, how was the word I'm looking for? Excited for it. Upon multiple watch of this episode, it's like, yeah, it's okay. Not the best. A lot of it was questionable. <laughs> Not really. I mean, it played it safe by scene by scene, and the way that they played this one it was very serious like they took this uh, they took themselves way too seriously for a ladybug episode do you agree silver well they usually take themselves seriously they Mm -hmm. usually act like this is a big to do but i'm just remembering i think the last episode we reviewed for this series it also involved a ladybug binding cat noir to a pole and giving him a kiss Oh god, like, I remember that. It's like I need an adult. Why are uh, there no adults? I am an adult. No, you're not. I'll I'll get into it like later on, but there was a scene that just was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like when she was like narrating or whatever, when she was all alone and blah blah blah. We'll we'll get it like when um you know. Yeah, true, 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 true. Uh, but anyway, yeah. like I mentioned before, um, I kind of like it, but up. Uh, after upon multiple watches, it's kind of just okay. It turned from a nine to a seven, yeah. So anywho, uh, if you guys are interested in watching this episode, uh, go watch it first before hearing our review. Welcome back. I hope you enjoy watching the episode and well, um, join us for our review. So anywho, we start off the episode with our hero running to school late. Um, going through her locker and putting stuff in locker, said presents and whatnot. Um, it seems that today is Miss Bustier's um, birthday, and everyone in her class really likes her because she is an awesome teacher. Yes, she's the best teacher in the world. Oh, okay. One, I am getting Princess Caden syndrome from this. <laughs> when when someone just flat out tells you that a character is so awesome, though they do intersperse it with uh. With shots of her making, I don't know, making kids hug to get over an argument, <coughs> excuse me, to get over an argument. Somehow I feel like that's that's forcing a reconciliation rather than letting them come to it themselves. Well, you do need a mediator sometimes for this kind of situation. But I, uh, I don't know. I mean, because they're kids, sometimes you do need to at least show them the way. Do you know the way? <laughs> I know Dewey. Do uh, you know Dewey? Uh, that means. Oh, oh wait. No, I should. It's France. I should. Do you know the way, mon cher? Oh, I am so French. This it. This impersonation is flawless. I am not your love. Sorry, Silver. Oh. Well. oh. Hey. Oh. Hey, m- I didn't. M- hey. To be fair, I didn't say that at all last episode. I didn't hurt at me. all. Even so. <laughs> I already gave you a twenty. We're good. No, yeah, you didn't. yeah, I did. One, I can't get over. This is the same bloody teacher who said that uh, Sleeping Beauty is all about love <laughs> and romance. It's just like, lady, I, I've heard of the original uh, fairy tale. It is not. It is not. You are sugarcoating. This. What kind of education system are you a part of? Uh, the French the- one? <laughs> oh, me petite pan. Oh, well, anywho, um, as we roll through, uh, we get to see everybody um, being impressed by Marionette's gift. Marionette's gift is a handmade purse, 
and inside his purse is a what you call this lipstick, her favorite color. Oh, I forget what the inscription on the uh, case said. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm trying to look for that one too. Love will change the world, or something about that. Something sappy like that, yeah. Ooh, something sappy like that. Sappy. Ooh, sappy. Uh, I am yes. not in this episode. Yeah. All right, okay. Oh, I, I found it. I found it. By the way, uh, if we wish to change the world, we must all learn to love each other. Once again, I am not part of this episode. Just a disclaimer. You're, you're reviewing it. That makes you a part of it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking about the episode that we are reviewing. I am not part of that. You're a part of it because you're talking about it. Yes. You're locked in here in the room of madness with us, Osefi. Now, oh, come on. Here's a kiss or kiss. I'm looking for a white rabbit. Have you seen him? <laughs> hey, if I'm trapped in this madness, then I may as well be Alice. Oh, you wish. So, anywho, uh, as we go through, it seems that everyone got a gift except Chloe. Yes, Chloe totally forgets to get a gift and everybody admonish her about it. Her best friend, who was her name now? <laughs> yeah, Sabrina. I just call her the Patsy. Yeah, I just saw it. Yeah, Sabrina. Sabrina says, like, Chloe doesn't like birthdays. Where was this? Uh, yeah, well, you know what? She doesn't like because birthdays because... her mother because... always forgets hers. Settle. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And... <laughs> Yeah, have they shown uh, Chloe's mother in the show? Because no, I, I know I, we see her father. I haven't seen her mom at least once. No, never. Oh wow! Well, yeah. that is a little bit more sympathetic. Probably we'll see. But anywho, she um, doesn't make anything better on herself though. Hmm. But anywho, bell rings and all the kids go to class, and yeah, Marinette kind of said a bad thing about Chloe not having a heart and whatnot. And yeah, as revenge, Chloe, what's the word, vandalizes uh, Marinette's present. Yes. So we get back to class. We Everybody gives a gift to Miss Boussier and she's happy about it until she looks at Marinette's gift. And Marinette's gift is, oh no, it's ruined. Chloe did it. And here's where they say one of the strangest lines for me. They say, half the city's been akumatized because of her, which... One, it's kind of funny how many superhero shows don't have people react to this. I remember Sailor Moon. Mm -hmm. Even with all the people who were being either attacked or turned it into monsters, hardly anyone ever made mention of it. <laughs> Here they are acknowledging this is a daily occurrence. And surprise, surprise, half the time it's her fault. Yeah, it is true. That is just stunning self-awareness and perhaps just a bit of meta-ness in this show, which I found almost delightful. Almost. But then I realized, you know, are, are people asking if they're authorities, what are you going to do about this butterfly menace? I'm sorry, the what? Butterfly menace. They come down and they make you all evil. What kind of drugs do your healthcare allow again? <laughs> well, anywho, Miss Boussier pulls Marinette out and tells... Um, her friend, uh, what was her name again? Uh, Alia, to take care of the class while she's out. And everybody thinks that, oh no, that's not fair. Um, Marinette's being, um, Marinette's in trouble because of what you did, uh, Chloe. That's not fair. Boo hoo hoo. Rage, rage, rage. And, Mar <laughs> and Marinette just says, like, oh, that's not fair and whatnot. And Miss Boussier just says, cool down. Like, uh, Chloe is a. Be snatch. So we all understand this. So you should really chill and kind of forgive her because she's not the greatest character. So you have to chill down and relax because look at me. I'm chill and relax. And with that anger from Marinette, somehow Hawk Moth um, senses her anger and sends a butterfly to infect her with the rage virus again i just think you know hawk moth oh no she's been detected by the evil hawk moth like a moth to a flame he is drawn <laughs> oh no save us from the hawk moth it is. <laughs> uh, but anywho <clears throat> it is. you know it's... if there's one thing i love about the show it's how i hear silver react to it that's the only thing i love about the show 
<laughs> Heaven save us from the dreaded hawk moth. Oh, oh the humanity, the hawk moth. All the fans of this show are just going, yeah, it's silver, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Uh, but anywho, um, as Marinette cools down, the butterfly or yeah, the but the evil butterfly, um, kind of doesn't feel the negative energy anymore and tries to fly it off. And Hawkmoth says, "You stupid butterfly, get closer! I want someone to get akumatized so I can catch Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. Do it! I'm, I'm so bored in here. Do you know what it's like to just stand here all day and?" Wait for someone to have a bad t- mood? This is France. Everyone's so chipper. <laughs> yeah. So, anywho, um, Miss Boussier realized that, oh, no, Akuma's there. Get back, Mar- Marinette. Don't get Akuma ties you. Get away. Get away. And, yeah, somehow, Butterfly infects her lipstick and she becomes Zombie Zoo. But I actually really like the, the dialogue. Like, she's trying to resist... Hawk Moth, and in kind of a devil's deal with the devil, he says, oh no, I want to help you spread love. Combine that with, like, there was an episode where he's like, oh, you like this power? Well, do this for me or I'll take it away. <laughs> for all my making fun of his motif of Hawk Moth, butterfly in, in, in France, I believe, Yeah, huh? he does actually have a good villainous streak when it comes to actually getting people to become his underlings. But at the same time, you, you're you looking for people to have a bad day in the city of love. That's just bad location. That That's villain 101. Location, location, location. True, but at the same time, too, like, eh, I don't know. The whole idea of, oh, no, um, I make you evil by you having a bad day. Like, come on. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do a quick Google search. Because you had a bad day. You take your bun down. You have, like, what, 66.9 million people in France, and not even one of them is having a bad day? It's the city of... This is a very idealized France. I mean, it's the city of love. Everybody's talking about love and happiness and tra-la-la. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm surprised there isn't... Let us go to the Well, no, that sounds German. <laughs> <laughs> but even if you um, minimize that search to... Paris, where the show is located, you have 2.244 million people as of 2010. And still, come on. Come, ma chérie, let us go frolic. Oh, but I'm late tired. Well, have a nap. Since we shall frolic. And it's, again, it became German again. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know why, why German keeps dominating France. Whoops. <laughs> so, anywho, as we move on, Miss Poussier becomes zombie zoo. And Marinette runs to the locker room and changes into Ladybug. And Mr. Boussier goes back to the classroom and tries to say around with lipsticks and kiss the first student she can with a flank kiss, by the way. Um, and said student is Sabrina. Sabrina is infected with the Kisu Kisu virus and yay! Well, hang on. I think we're skipping important yay. part. <laughs> what was the important part? That she's aiming for uh spoiled spoiled girl uh why um, am i blanking on her name all of it chloe thank you yeah she's aiming for chloe and chloe holds sabrina up as a human shield i mean this episode is going to do everything in its power to make you dislike this character and it really doesn't have to try that hard but here's the thing i actually kind of agree with zombizu she's like oh i'm not going to punish you for vandalizing a student's gift and invading their personal space oh no i'm going to lecture the victim on being more accepting and loving it's like no it's good to encourage positivity and role models but you still have to hold the guilty party accountable so it's like spare the rod spoil the child so i'm actually agreeing with the zombizu yeah get the brat yeah have her get a little consequence to actions I, I think this whole episode is that, but we'll get that we'll get there when we get there. So I'm see. just saying she's a bad teacher. She should feel bad when teaching. I don't know. I don't know. Like she doesn't. I really do sh- know. I do know. Uh, she doesn't really show up that much. But anywho, as we continue on, 
uh, it seems that more of the student body gets infected with the kisu kisu bug. And yeah, everybody seems to try and kiss everyone. That is troubling <laughs> on so many levels. And the yeah. next scene, yeah, next scene we get to see um, people in the boiler room being infected. They're like, what? How, how do you get stuck in the boiler room? Well, you know, you have enough drinks and, you know, there's just no stopping it. It's almost an inevitable. Going out for drinks, boom, boiler room morning. By the way, there's, those are students, not uh, workers of the uh, facility and whatnot. So, yeah, but anyway, um, as we continue on, uh, Ladybug goes to the locker and, yay, everyone's there. Except for Adrian. Where's Adrian? Oh, no, Adrian. In his locker? Yep, Adrian is in his locker. Uh, somehow being infected. Oh no! And no, they need to well, kind of run away from Adrian and run away from the locker because the locker room is not safe anymore. And they decide to head onto the roof. Up on the roof. While they're escaping to the roof, Plague says, "Huh, you just want to kiss Ladybug, didn't you?" And Adrian says, "Not really, but hey, if we if I get to kiss her, that's awesome." Anyway, transform. So he becomes Cat Yes, we're back to the guy in super tight leather. He's only 14 years old. <laughs> and so, voiced by Kirito. Uh, so, sounds good. But anywho. Um, ah, just that the madness will never end. <laughs> what did yeah. you expect? It's Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> ah, my God, my God, my God. Oh, boy. So and, <laughs> anywho, as the heroes are stuck on the roof, they look at the news. And the news is kind of bad because said virus is spreading all over Paris from the subway station to the mayor's hall to the TV station. And oh no, it seems that um, Zombie Zoo is really running amok and her demands for um, things de-escalating is to get Chloe and Cat Noir and Ladybug's miraculous then she'll stop and yeah it seems that yeah they're not buying it and they need to find a way to solve this it seems that some of the zombies catch up to them and are on the roof and yeah you know what this is just madness madness abounds Mm -hmm. and they play this straight like a real zombie horror film kind of scenario here well, they've even got the they've even got the uh, bus idea from oh, what is it? Night of the Living Dead. Mm, true that. Yeah, and it seems that yeah, everybody's there. Everybody's trying to get to them, and the kids are climbing onto the roof and whatnot. Oh my goodness! And yeah, one by one, everybody gets infected with the kiss virus and whatnot. And yeah, Chloe's still a bee snatch through all of this. When you say the kiss virus, all I expect then is for them to be in black and white makeup wet with really long, dark hair and singing about uh, Dr. Feelgood. Oh, wow. He's the one who makes you feel good. He's the one who makes you feel all right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, I, I, I... I owe I'm you getting, nothing. I'm getting paid. Not by me. Kiss virus. That instantly, I've made this episode even cooler. <laughs> if you just had everyone turning into a into a rock band groupie, it'd be fantastic. I want this episode. Can Ponyville be infected by the Kiss virus? Except you know, band related. Oh, you mean Equestria struggles? I'd rather it be the ponies, but sure. <laughs> but anywho, um, yes. Uh, where was I? Yes, Chloe goes to the bus, but miss her jump. And it seems that the little one has to save her and whatnot. And yeah, they, they, they go into the bus and try to find a safe spot. And said safe spot is the Eiffel Tower because nobody's there. Not much people is going to be there. At one of the most famous national landmarks. Wait, didn't Zambizu say that's where I'll be? Like, I forget I if she laid it. Ulti- she put some, forth some sort of ultimatum. Yeah, I don't remember. But still, it's one of those episodes, right? So, anywho, they drive to the Eiffel Tower, and before they arrive, they hear a shriek. It seems that the little one is infected. And this is fun, because if you notice, oh no, the Edgelord girl has been kissed on the lips. Oh my. Although, the fact that we're just referring to them by, like, 
tropes. There's the little one, the big one, the goth, the professor, and Marion. Yeah, I mean, okay, um, granted that we are not hardcore fans of the show, so we are not going to remember all of their names. So, yay? No, yes. Well, uh, yeah, I, I can't say I really know their names right away. I think it is very strongly hinted that the goth and the, the little one are romantically interested in one another. Probably. Then, hey, that's good. Mm, true, true. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember if those two are ship or not, or do they have something in mind? You know what? Um, okay, Norman, I can answer that without you even having a check. Yes, they're shipped. <laughs> it's a show, and there's an audience. Shipping will occur. This is an unavoidable fact of the universe. Uh, all right, all right. <clears throat> so, any who where was I? Yes. Uh, it seems that the little one is trying to get up to Chloe, but the sporty one seems to stop them and says, uh, I'll stop them. You better do something about this, Ladybug. I know you will save the day. And we haven't been really acknowledging the fact that everybody's saying, Ladybug, uh, you will save the day. Yes, we know you will. Our sacrifice will not be in vain. And yeah, that's putting a lot of pressure on someone. Yeah. No pressure, no pressure at all. Yep, yep. It's just, if you don't do something, we'll spend the rest of our lives just hugging and kissing attractive people because this is a strangely physically fit Paris. You know what, Ladybug? Just why don't you go sit over there? We're good. We're good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, so, the, the great the great snoggins craze of 1852. So anyway, um, as they go through this, Alia presses the elevator door to go up. And when the elevator door opens, she's been mobbed by a bunch of casing zombies. Oh no! Like she couldn't see through the glass door. There's a threat going after her. Oh no! A trap, you say? Threat. It's a trap. I know there's plot contrivances and whatnot, but come on. You see elevator coming down and it's a see-through window kind of scenario. And you see, oh no, elevator coming down. Zombies are there. What am I going to do? Act surprise and get glomped. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You could have used the stairs. Uh, but anywho. So let's see. Uh, once these zombies are app- apprehended or taken down, uh, Cat Noir brings Chloe into the lift and they say that, hey, let's go up to the tower and whatnot. And Neo or... Neo? Is that his name? I think uh, it's Neo. You're, you're t- one, I thought you were saying Neo, which is like, hey, that'll solve this problem. Just give a <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Nothing's as unromantic as Keanu Reeves in those movies. I'm sorry. He and Trinity is a romantic item. No, no, thank you. <laughs> nah, his name is Nino. So anywho, Nino. Nino stays behind and kisses his girlfriend. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's like, Lady Pug, give me at least half an hour. <laughs> oh, wait, no, they're children, so forget that. No, ha! Ah! So, yo, oh, well. <clears throat> but anywho, let's see. Uh, as they apprehend the zombies, they go up the lift, and Ladybug is kind of pissed off because, oh my, our, all our friends are um, getting zombified, and uh, I'm their only hope. And even Cat Noir is saying, no problem, Ladybug. Uh, by the end of the episode, I mean, by the end of the day, you'll miraculously save everyone. Yeah, that's what you do. Miraculous again. Ah, mm-hmm. ah, he said it. He said it. <laughs> yeah. So, anywho, um, when they reach to the top of the tower, it seems that there's a lot of zombies over there. I mean, like, it's not like the Eiffel Tower is not the most populated tourist attraction in Paris. I mean, it's not the Louvre or anything like that. Huh? Right, right, right. Well, yeah, they're all they're all wanting to show their love. It's yeah. the Louvre, but it's love. Yeah, so anywho, uh, there's a bunch of people over there, and they want to kiss Ladybug and Cat Noir. So it seems that, yeah, they, Ladybug survives while Cat Noir doesn't. So yeah, Cat Noir has been affected by the kissy bug, and yeah, they, they should be saved by the both of them, but not really. So, yeah. Silva, you want to take this one? Because I'm rushing through this. Well, one, I have to wonder, what what would happen if Ladybug were to fall under a villain's sway? Because she's the one with the purification power. Mm Mm-hmm. 
And without that, you are basically caught in a catch-22. But once again, uh, Cat Noir is just on the bad guy's side and doing the little flips around, jumps. It's fun to see. that I do love the acrobatics in this show. That is at least uh, a very strong feature. But basically, again, Ladybug's polka dot powers. <laughs> what? You mean the Deus Ex I Machina? Mean, well, when when the, the this is the key to victory, so catch it. Uh, and yet I'm like, how does she know what to do with that? How does she know? It, it is Deus Ex. And it could, one could make the argument that because they know uh, Ladybug will always save the day, there's no tension because they've just admitted, yeah, you've got the character shield. You are the invincible Ladybug. Your miraculous is a character shield that takes away all dramatic tension. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, dramatic tension. Yeah, but we have to point out that hey, um, Chloe finally uh, sacrifices herself to save the day by helping Ladybug not get kissed by Cat Noir. Oh no! Uh, but I'm sorry, it's, it's kind of too little, too late. When when you're when you've spent the whole time going, well, I'm just naturally better than everyone. Congratulations, you've reached the level of a four chan troll. <laughs> and. Here's the thing. When Diamond Tiara got her redemption, at least they presented that she was in a tough space and that her family was at the cause of a lot of her actions. It didn't absolve those actions, but at least you suddenly understood why. Mm -hmm. The only hint I've gotten as to Chloe's attitude is that her mom forgets her own birthday. And so acting out might be the only way she feels she can get attention. But that's not coming through here it's just sort of like, oh, the script says I have to sacrifice myself now. And so I shall. Don't worry. I'll be back to being unpleasant and, un and horrible in the next episode. Yeah, but probably it's one of those scenarios where we didn't get a chance to see Chloe's redemption arc, season two and all. Well, as far as I know, there is no redemption arc because everyone's still mad at her, uh, views her as a terrible person. And she validates that criticism throughout this entire episode. More than that, the arc we've witnessed is everyone sacrificing themselves to save everyone, including Chloe, and her being pretty unaffected by the whole thing. Although, I must credit, this episode has uh, Ladybug giving her a uh, wrestler throw. I forget what the proper term is. But she just grabs her, throws her over her shoulders like, okay, I shouldn't enjoy seeing that, but yes! <laughs> a shoulder attack, uh, no, a shoulder throw, if I remember right. Uh, Sophie, but... have you any commentary on the shoulder throw? Ha! Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't really like... have much to say. Sorry. Uh, it sounds like she's dead inside. Yeah, I think I think that. Well, well, this just drives me to new and funny voices. <laughs> I believe I believe one of our listeners compares me to those creatures from the uh, Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal. Trial by stone. Really? Who said that? If you check the first the holiday special we reviewed. Oh yeah, that one. Was it Lurker Cat? No. Uh, maybe. maybe. He, he said I sounded like a, a skink snack. I think that's what oh, they're called. Well, I, I need to double check that one. But yeah, so uh, let's see. Yeah. So, it, ah, ah. <laughs> but anyway, so Ladybug with these weirdly clairvoyant powers and instant knowledge of what polka dots represent, <laughs> she just wipes the lipstick off, depriving Zombizu of her ability to zombify people, mm -hmm. you know, until she reapplies. Yeah, and takes the opportunity to smack it out of her hand and destroys it, lipstick, and free the butterfly and purifies it. And everybody is, well, kind of goes back to normal. Yay. Hawk Moth is still just sitting in his darkened room. He's like, I love winning, so one day I will win. Yes. Oh, God, I'm bored now. <laughs> Actually, Silver, um, you know what? Uh, spoilers, but I'm not going to tell you because... Oh, I know who he is. Oh, no, no, that's what, yeah, I, I think you already know. You know what, not going to tell spoilers and whatnot, so yeah, let's carry on. So, anywho, oh. yeah, the day we save, once again, by the power of me, by Ladybug. Ladybug, Ladybug, she's, and then they they do their pound it, which is just like, <laughs> you know, I just saw all these people kissing without, somewhat without uh, warranty. warranty. Please, please don't, please don't, please don't, don't talk, talk like, like that. that. My, My mind, mind is, is not in the, the right, right place. place for this. Oh, especially the uh, Valentine's episode, hmm. 
Valentine's episode where they for- tie a guy down and forcibly kiss him. Like, you sick. You sick. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, anywho, uh, Miss Boussier uh, kind of recovers and says, oh, no, I've been akumatized and oh, I've done bad things. Oh, 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 was me. Oh, what was me. Oh, what was me. Yes. Whoa. There you go. Neo is Shakespeare. Whoa. Yes. So, anywho, Ladybug says, it's not your fault. Um, it's just Hawkmoth. He's the jerk and whatnot. Like, you're, you're all in the clear. And Chloe comes and says, I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday and whatnot. I wanted to give you something awesome, but I kind of forget. So, I'm sorry and whatnot. Stuff, stuff, stuff. So, yeah, everybody's hugging and whatnot. And everybody's um, appreciative of each other. And, yay, they get down off the tower and stuff. They get down with their bad selves. Yep. And Get down with the sickness. <laughs> a few hours later, by the way, a few hours later after the whole dilemma. Um, I'm going to say the next day, but it looks like a few hours. I don't know. I'm going to say next day because really no one's going to focus in class. They're like, we were just brainwashed into kissing everyone in sight. We're uh, going to need a personal day. Yeah. yeah. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. So confused. No, I'm not going to study trigonometry right now. I'm kind of freaking out. <laughs> so, anywho. Nah, screw you. You're a teenager. You need to learn. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> but anywho, not like this. <laughs> anywho, the next day, um, Alia abolish, abol- abolish, uh, how was the word? Abolish? Ab- abolish? Admonish. Ad- apologizes? No, admonish, yes. Alia admonish Chloe about what she's done and Chloe says, Oh, it's not my fault. I even saved the day. Look at me, I'm awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Marinette just comes in, Yes, you did, Chloe. You're the best. Now um I'm sorry for what you did. Now let's sit down and stuff because class is about to start. And Alia just asks, Yo, Marinette, are you local in the Coco? Are you still infected with us? Like that's Chloe, yo. And Marinette just says, it's cool. We we all do stuff. Like, and yeah, uh, Chloe just needs time to mature and whatnot. She needs a chill pill. Mm-hmm. So as Miss Pussy comes in, Chloe slips something on the desk. And it is a birthday present. Oh, yay. And class starts. And episode ends. Here's a question. Did anyone here ever get their teacher birthday presents? Mm, no. I'm trying to remember. It's, well, I guess one, but I don't really remember the scenario stuff. Not really. I mean, I remember celebrating something with the teacher personally in the classroom kind of scenario, but I don't remember what was it, honestly. It could be birthday present, it could be going away something. I, I actually remember one time where I think this was my third grade class. Mm hmm. Uh, the pet rabbit of the classroom had died. Oh, fun times! Uh, and so somehow I forget how, who coordinated this, but the class got her a new rabbit. Went into the classroom, so when she opened the door, we gave this big surprise and greeted her with the new class rabbit. And she actually started to weep happy tears. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, it was a. That's a good memory. So I'm not going to say, for all my critiques, I won't say that getting your teacher a birthday presence, I wouldn't call that overly idealized. At least mm. if if it is, then I experienced that idealism. That I idealism. Mean, it's one of those cases where um, I, I remember watching this one video about a school teacher from Brazil who was struggling with his real life because he's not getting paid right and whatnot and students of his class all chipped in to um, well give him some cash because he kind of needs it because he's been sleeping in the classroom and whatnot so yeah um, it it was a very heart touching video and he started to weep and everybody gave him a hug so those kind of scenarios does happen especially to the teachers that really, really deserve it. Mm-hmm. But does she deserve it? There's the question. <laughs> does she deserve it? That is a good question that we'll have to answer another day. So anyway. On well, to the- if you ask me, like if they've, uh, you know, they, they 
seem to have like a big impact, like based on, you know, how she teaches and whatnot. And they seem to love her, so you know. Uh-huh. Well, if it works, it works, I guess. I mean, it's one of those cases where if she hasn't huge impact on them, awesome. And uh, I don't know, it's one of those scenarios where show not tell. Well, they kind of showed at the beginning, but again, it's just like forcing people to hug. I don't know if that fosters goodwill or just buries resentment. Yeah, I don't know. It takes time and whatnot. But anywho, uh, let's it takes a little time sometimes. <laughs> let's hit into final thoughts. Silver, what, my man, what do you think? What is this show? <laughs> don't even go anymore. <laughs> my group on reality is just fading and. My audio levels are peaking, and I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm cold and scared that there's, again, spandex and leather. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all, kiss you, kiss you. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And your villain is Hawk Moth. Your villain is called Hawk Moth. Just yeah. get an aerosol can. It's a bug spray of some sort. And you're like, oh, no, I foiled again. Now I'm just going to sit in this darkened room waiting for someone else to have a bad day. God, I'm lonely. <laughs> oh, boys. I don't know. What to... And besides, if Chloe really is responsible for half the city getting akumatized, she's a national, se- she's national security issue. She needs to be at prison. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lock her up. <laughs> I wait. Oh, better yet, turn her into to, turn her into a bubble girl. She can go to the outside, but only with a plastic bubble around her. <laughs> oh wow! So hey, anywho, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. I'm Is not it... done ranting yet. <laughs> <laughs> go on and rant then. And just pound it of all the inappropriate victory lines. You, you kids, you kids are driving me crazy. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I know what I'm saying. Yeah. And Norman, you're the one who introduced us to this madness. You're the one who keeps fueling the viewing. Does that Come mean it. we get to put Norman in a plastic bubble? Oh, Norman, would you like to be Bubble Boy? Oh, thank you. I do not like that movie. Oh, what about the Seinfeld episode? It's the Moops, the Mars, the Moops, the Mars. Uh, <clears throat> maybe not. Not yet. I don't know what to make of you anymore, Norman. You used to be about the reviews, man. I am about the reviews. Now you're all about the torture. <laughs> well, if it's entertaining, right? Well, I'm trying to make it entertaining as I go, <laughs> you sick! You sick! Uh, but anywho, is that all, Silver? I'm good for right now. All right, then. And Seth, what about you? Norman, why do you do this to us, man? Because. The Patreon supporters wanted to. I don't care about the patrons. Why do you torture us? Because it's a lot of fun. That is a terrible answer. Go to the corner. <laughs> Go no. to the corner of shame. Never. The corner no. of shame, Norman. Never. But anywho. Norman B. Anthony. What the Sanzo. Name? <laughs> Norman B. Anthony Sanzo Go to the, the corner. That she wants like... you to be she wants you to be Anthony C. Can you be more Australian? <laughs> that is not even my name, psych. Wow, I thought my French accent was racist. <laughs> I was trying to do Australian. And you instead <laughs> came off as offensive. Congratulations. <laughs> you played an offensive American more than an Australian right there. I'm so proud of you. Uh, one of the weird lines, though. One of the weird lines, though, that I witnessed, though, in this episode was like when she started monologuing to herself after uh, the the guy got like um you know kissed or whatever. Mm-hmm. I forget the guy's name. The black cat kid. Oh, Kenoir. Yeah, sure. Anyways, mm-hmm. one of the weird things I found was like that she started monologuing to herself about how he'll get a kiss later. Oh, that one. Um, okay. Why? You... <laughs> I mean, oh. I get why, but... <sighs> well, it seems that, you know... It, um, it Norris... seems weird to me. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know. Anyways, yeah. I don't know. This, this episode was weird, made me uncomfortable, and... Uh... <laughs> 
okay, it's okay. It's okay. Anyway, Mermen, I hate you. <laughs> uh, anyway, as for me, no, 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 we, we can't, we can't end on I hate you. Come on, you two need to kiss and kiss and make up. No, Get no, on. I, I already have, I already have a significant other to do that way. So no, well, you don't want to be doubly significant. <laughs> oh my! Wow. Yeah. I, I'm impressed with your devotion of phlegm to that. <laughs> Boy, so anyway. I, I really didn't. Anyway, as for me, ah, well, let's see. As for me, this episode was a lot of fun. Um, I remember enjoying it the first time I saw it, but a subsequent rewatch, I kind of didn't like it that much anymore. I, I'm guessing that the whole zombie thing is kind of, well... Overdone? Uh, this, yes, <laughs> overdone. In the world of video game, it's overdone. In the world of in you know, show, it's overdone too. And also, um, I've seen. Well, I- I'll talk about that later on for a bit. But I'll finish my thoughts. Uh, yeah, this one was a okay, but eh, kind of died out for me. Overdone. So yeah, and like I was saying, um, I've seen the new Mega Man cartoon. You know about that one, Silver? There's, there's another one. Does it have an awesome opening theme like Super Fighting Robot? Close, close, but not to that level. Um, this oh, one is oh. the recent one. Uh, what was it called again? I'm trying to look for the name. Mega Man Fully Charged. Yes. Is the yes part of the title? No. Mega no. Man Fully Charged. Yes, Desu. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, this one is done by DHX, and the lead character Mega Man is voiced by um, Shiny. I'm um, not Shiny. I'm uh, who's calling? Uh, Vincent. Boyfriend Tom? to Twilight. Flash Sentry, so... Yes, Flash. Um, Vincent Tong. Oh, yeah. I called it. Yeah, Vinny. So that's another show you should watch. It's fun too. And they also had the zombie thing. Yeah. Well, no. honestly... Really, I'm just I'm just uh, picturing a new theme song from Miraculous. Super Kissing Paris. <laughs> kissu, kissu. Super Kissing Paris. Kissu, kissu. Oh, yeah. So anyway... Yeah. <laughs> hurts so much it hurts so good it hurts so much come on paris make it hurt so good it hurts so, so um, much silver you know what to do you should message manga and says uh, tell him to say kisu kisu to seppi seppi no i will kill somebody if they if they do i hope. i will kill i will be out for blood Okay, you know what? We won't tell him to say that. We, we won't I tell will. him to say No, no, no. We won't tell him to say that. What we do is, hey, Manga, check this episode review out. It's a lot of fun. Kill on yourself. I'm, I'm <laughs> just gonna see you. Kill. On the Twitters. Oh, God. No! <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Yeah. So, anywho. Um, <clears throat> If you guys have any questions or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mvshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, Silver, where can the good people find you? On Twitter, t- typing out, uh, according to today's <laughs> MBS Show, our friend Manga Common should no. greet his no. boo. How does one spell boo in romance? Uh, romance. No. B-A-U. Boo? Let me say, like, B-U? Boo. Uh, oh, no, wait. That's a boyfriend or male admirer. Definitely don't want to do that. To oh. his, his lady love, love, at <laughs> Sapphire Heart Song. At. <laughs> Anime Chrissy. <laughs> yeah. Why, Why are you, you torture me so? My, <laughs> Why are you not coming up in my feed? What's your Twitter handle? Anime it's supposed to be at Anime Christie. <laughs> Why is Anime Christie not coming up? Try Sunny Lemon. Oh yeah, you're Sunny Lemon now. Sunny Lemon. Yeah, that that's an right. it's it's an in joke or whatever, like um like a different name thing. Like it's a sappy name anyway. According to today's MBS show, our friend Manga Common should greet his lady love Anime Christie with Kisu Kisu. <laughs> no, up to, up to <laughs> my lad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Yes, yeah, so you can find me on Twitter at MLP Silver Quill. And I've just tweeted that. 
really? So, Manga Kamen, I'm expecting you to greet her with the full Kisu Kisu affection. Yeah. Yeah, he did, and folks. I, he did. I did. I did. I said I would, and I did. You can also find me on DeviantArt, where I'll be posting comics that may not use Kisu Kisu, but I'll try to work that in. Featuring Manga Kamen and Sapphire Heart Song. Yeah. And then uh, you can always find me on the YouTubes and on every every Wednesday I post a comic review on EquestriDaily.com. <laughs> All right. You're nice, the worst. Nice. And by the way, Silver, that tweet just came out six, 31 seconds ago and you already get retweets from two, uh, well, three other people. Like what? What can I say? I, I, I can connect with people if it's for trolling. Oh well. <laughs> so anywho, so happy weekend. The good people and find you. Fine. You you will find me in the depths of the uh, other side of the world, trying to uh, gather up weapons to kill off an old man. Apparently, I'm already. Her reply: You're dead to me, old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys. <clears throat> oh, but come on. You know. I've I've held off on this sound effect the entire episode, but come on, Kitsu Kitsu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh well. That, that red line. Oh well. So anywho, and also please subscribe to radios on iTunes, YouTube, and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stay to radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on BoliveLive.com. Uh, we also do this podcast here on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Do check us out over there. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurker Cat, Master of Lag, Tristan, Charles, Starstream, Lucky Knight, and also Amy. Thank you guys for being awesome. And I would like to thank Master of Lag and Tristan so, so much for suggesting this topic here now. Yes, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. You've given us new ways to just drive Safi insane. Indeed. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the shipping silver queen. I'm out for blood. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the NBA show. See ya. Kiss a kiss a. Kill. I just want to die, die, die. Die, 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 it's muffin time, cause I wanna die, die, die. Well, it looks like this tweet has been getting a lot of traction. Oh wow. Oh, it's quite delightful.